You know, we take the sun for granted. It gives us light, it warms the earth, it drives our weather, it sustains our life. But the sun is a burning ball of gases and it's constantly churning. New tonight, meteorologist Craig Moeller takes a look at the increase in solar activity. It seems like just a nice sunny day, but trust me, right now the sun is very active. Last month, the sun averaged 163 sunspots per day, the most since September of 2002. Sun activity and solar cycles have been monitored for over 250 years. Our current cycle, Solar Cycle 25, began in 2019 and should extend through 2030. It was originally forecast to peak in 2024 or 2025, but with an uptick in activity, many are believing the peak could occur possibly this year. Look at the time lapse from NOAA. You can see how the number of sunspots and coronal mass ejections has increased. Compare the activity in 2019 to 2023. This increased activity can affect us here on Earth. During solar storms, solar winds bring charged particles, electrons and protons towards the Earth, and they interact with the Earth's magnetic field. Our magnetic field deflects most of the solar material, keeping the Earth's other protective layers in place, ultimately saving us from the sun's ultraviolet radiation. But solar storms can disrupt communications. They can damage older power infrastructure. Satellites can be affected or even knocked out. And migratory creatures like gray whales, sea turtles, and some birds can be thrown off if they rely on the Earth's magnetic lines to navigate. The recent increased visibility of the aurora borealis farther south is another indication of the increased sun activity. Fortunately, this solar maximum will likely be moderate when compared to past events. It will likely be stronger than the last one, which peaked in April of 2014, but not nearly as bad as the ones we experienced in the 1960s and 1970s. A coronal mass ejection just took place from the sun's southern hemisphere on July 11th and is expected to hit the Earth's magnetic field tomorrow. We aren't expecting major issues, but we will continue to watch more as we approach the peak of our current solar cycle.